Good day, everyone. It is a great pleasure getting across to you through this particular medium. Before we start the class, now get all the necessary material that will enable you to put down some things which will help you to be able to review this particular class. Having obtained all the necessary material that you need for this particular class, we are going to look at the topic communication today. And this is under business studies. However, before we go ahead and look at this, this topic completely, I want us to run through the learning objective. The learning objective include that at the end of this particular class, you should be able to define communication number two. To be able to state the importance of communication. Number three, to be able to mention the various types of communication. Number four, to be able to distinguish between traditional and modern means of communication and lastly you will be able to discuss the different types of communication agencies by the way what do you understand by communication this is an activity that we are involved in from time to time and on daily basis. So there is communication within our homes, there is communication between and among different organizations, there is communication in the public and between even the government and the citizens. So what do you understand by communication? Communication is simply the act of passing minimum full information from one place to another. So it has to do with the exchange of meaningful information and the information we are talking about here could be in the form of messages, could be in form of uh, speech, could be in form of data, it could be in form of uh, a written material and it could be in form of a behavior or escalation. And nowadays we discover that we have some common communication activities that we carry out, like the email, sending electronic messages from a phone, maybe to somebody, somewhere else. So all these, they constitute communication in one way or the other. What are the importance of communication? The importance of communication include the following. One, it 
trade by linking buyers and sellers together. So buyers and sellers are connected as, as a result of communication. And that's the reason why it is possible for a buyer in Lagos to get across to somebody that is uh, at Kaduna and be able to instruct that person to supply some goods or some items. Number two, it enables traders and business organizations to carry out transactions across the world. As a result of communication, it is now possible for traders, business organizations, and businessmen across the globe to embark on transactions with little or no difficulty as communication has helped them to break all barriers maybe in getting through to the other person at a different location number three it facilitates speedy banking transactions Banks render several services to us nowadays as individuals and as business organizations. And uh, it is now possible through communication to increase the speed at which we enjoy this type of uh, services. For example, it is possible for one to communicate with uh, his bank account without actually getting to the banking hall using one's ATM card or using the banking app and one's phone. So all these are ways of passing messages or information or instruction to the bank to help us to effect some of our actions. In addition, it promotes effective and um, all forms of transportation. So nowadays it is possible for us to enjoy better and improved transportation services. Whether we are looking at uh, land transportation, air transportation, water transportation, or pipeline transportation. So because now it is possible to monitor the services of transporters and those who that are their employees through communication facilities. So we have improved communication facilities nowadays and as such. So that has helped to improve the way transport services are actually delivered. In addition, it also provides station report on market to manufacturers and sellers and customers. So it is possible for the manufacturers to get some feedback from maybe their products in the market and also the sellers, they can also obtain some information or some feedback from the market as a result of communication facilities that are, are obtainable today. So they can easily know maybe when uh, new competitors are, have come into the market or when there is a, a change in the price of a product. Also, 
Communication plays a vital role in securing lives and properties nowadays. So nowadays it is uh, easier to monitor the activities of uh, hoodlums and criminals in the society through uh, communication facilities that have been developed and the uh, example is the sense the machine that can be used to censor one's fingertips or that can be used to censor every day movement or the feet of some individuals maybe in a particular environment The importance of communication also include it plays important role in the course of advertisement. Nowadays, we discover that uh, a lot of uh, information can be passed across to the prospective customers using uh, using uh, communication. media for example posters or stickers flyers can be placed on motor vehicles can be placed on uh, uh, even air carriers and, and rail and trains to pass information or to make some goods or some products popular to the public. Then it bridges the gap between manufacturers and buyers. So it helps to reduce the distance that needs to be covered between manufacturers and buyers. And uh, it, it, has made, it has made it possible for manufacturers that are in a very far distance from their prospective buyers to easily get across to them through various communication uh, media. For example, um, radio and uh, television and newspaper. Types of uh, communication. We have uh, four major types of communication. And these include verbal communication, written communication, non-verbal communication, and visual communication. Looking at each of them, one after the other, verbal communication, according to its name, this involves passing messages and information by ways of mouth. For example, this take, uh, takes place even in our homes, in our in the community, and everywhere in the society. So we are involved in quickly passing verbal instruction, messages, information to people around us from time to time. The next one is written communication. According to its name, this form of communication exists in printed messages, for example, memos, proposals, emails, letters, reports, etc. So all these, they are written form of uh, communication and the 
help in passing useful or reasonable information from one place to another or from one person to another. Then we have non-verbal communication. This involves receiving and sending wordless messages and uh, gesticulations. It is possible to pass information to another person merely by giving some by giving some signs or using some signal. For example, maybe somebody that is trying to move towards another person. The person may just stretch forth one of his hands, signifying that the person should stop or that this person should not come towards him or her. So that is a, a way of non-verbal communication. Or when we nod our heads or when we um, use some other signs to pass some information. Visual communication is the next one. This one involves using visual aids to pass information. E examples include signs. For example, like uh, the different rule signs. It's an example of visual communication. Then we have drawings. We have graphics, graphs, charts. All these, they are examples of uh, visual communication. And when they are used, so they are used to pass some information or some me messages across to the prospective individuals or organizations that are concerned. There are methods of communication. There are two major ways information messages can be passed or that information and messages have been passed from the time in memory. We have the first one which is traditional method of communication. And these are the ancient ways of passing information and messages across, across different parts of the society. And examples include town criers, palm front, metagram, signs, and mess messengers. Those who that eventually move from one location to another using gong to pass messages or when a red cloth is tied maybe along the, a particular path or road or when palm front is used as a form of a sign. So all these they are described as traditional method of a, pass a communication. Then we have modern method of communication. These are the recent means developed in passing information from one place to another. Examples include email, telephone, conference, call, fax, newspaper, magazines, radio, television, social, and social media, and courier services. So social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and so on and so forth. So all these, they are modern methods of uh, passing information. So there we have different media through which information and messages can be delivered from one point to another today. And we refer to them as means of communication. They include post offices, telephone, 
World Wide Web, Korea, and Communication Agencies. So, looking at the looking at post offices, this is a, an organization that renders the service of physically moving mails, documents, and parcels from one place to another. And uh, it renders uh, different forms of uh, postal services. Then we equally have telephone. So nowadays we have different organizations rendering telephone services, and it involves passing verbal information or messages using telephone facilities that operate electronically. So the, it operates in form of an electronic gadget and they help us to pass verbal information. And that's the reason why it is possible for us to stay here and in Lagos and pass an information to somebody that is far away in uh, Port Harcourt. Then we have World Wide Web. This is a collection of collection of numerous computers where documents, information and data are exchanged and accessed through the internet. So it's a, a collection of large number of computers that are linked or connected into a web like a net. So and it is supposed to pass information in, in different forms from one point to another. Also, we have courier. This is a, a service that's rendered by a group of uh, private organizations that collect and deliver mails, documents, parcels from door to door. Example, uh, all around us. So we have a lot of them that are using motorcycle to deliver puzzles right into our homes. We have some of them that are using motor vehicle and so on and so forth. The major services rendered by communication agencies like the post office, we have ordinary letters ordinary letters. These are letters that are posted by ordinary mail within or outside the country. In other words, this type of letter, so there's no special um, treatment or care for them. Then we have an express letter. So according to its name, this one, these are letters that are handled faster and ordinary letters and equally attract extra costs for enjoying this type of service. So they are delivered faster than ordinary letters as it is possible to use even the service of uh, airliners in delivering this type of uh, mails. Then we have parcels. Parcels as Puzzles are special package mails or messages that are sent to individuals or organizations. So they are equally used to pass information from one place to another. And it's a way of uh, communicating with somebody in another lo location. They're posted by air. We equally have posted by air. These are mails sent through post offices which, with special arrangement with transporters to move them. That is, air transporters are involved in moving this type of uh, mails, letters, puzzles, or documents. Then we probably have a business reply system. This is an arrangement.
that allows an organization to, re to prepare for mails and messages that are sent. In other words, at once, the organization pays in advance for the cost of mails that are to be delivered. Then we have uh, also recorded delivery. This is a postage service that enable a customer to be able to get some evidence or feedback that is in forms of receipt and to be able to confirm that mails have been delivered. So we refer to it as recorded delivery. We also have in addition registration letter. This service allows important items documents and financial instruments to be registered before they are sent. So they are given some special treatment by registering them, putting down the details of the sender of such mail and the receiver, and then indicating maybe the time it was received and the time it was delivered. Then we equally have as part of services of communication agents, we have telephone services. This involves sending verbal message, messages using various telephone networks. Examples include the global system of mobile telecommunication, that is GSM, that we are using nowadays. Internet services. This is the global this is the global interconnection of computer networks that uses internet protocol to communicate between network and devices. That is, a lot, large number of computers are linked or connected together and they use uh, the service of some internet providers to pass information or to pass messages from one location to another. Then we have email also. Email is an electronic form of mails that are sent through the internet. It enables users to communicate with each other at any time from several locations through a registered email address. So individuals can have an email address, for example, abc at gmail.com or abc at greenlawhall.org. So all these, they are examples of an email address. In conclusion, communication has become an essential activity in all organizations today, as even situation and development has continued to demand for an improved and efficient method of communication. So, reference materials. Business studies for GS3 by AB80 et al. West African Publishers, Lagos. Business Studies for Basic 7 to 9 by 04 FE et al. Holland Publisher, Ibadan. Assignment 1. Define communication. B. State five patterns of communication. 2. List and explain five types of communication. 3. Mention five me media of communication. Thank you for your time.